Um, all right, guys, how are you all doing? Um, it's time for update. So yeah, uh, Angel and her people are supposed to appear in court today. Okay, so um, I don't know, but um, I told you guys yesterday that I was scared. I didn't know what to do because she's a mother and she's begging me to um help her release her daughter. Okay, so I was scared. I told you guys. So today. Angel's mom, the pastor, the brother, that one that used to shout, yeah, 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 I give it three days, that one that used to shout, the other short one, and like three other persons that I don't know, hmm? they were at the state gate, okay, they were at the state gate, then the security called, uh, he was like, some people are here to see you. They already know Angel very well. So I asked them who the people who are here to see me, uh, who were here to see me was. He said Angel parents, Angel's parents with three other persons. I asked him if they were looking um, aggressive, if they appeared aggressive. He said no. That as a matter of fact, they were begging him to allow them see us. I told them to tell them that John is not around. That... Uh, I equally, I, I wasn't around that I went out, okay, so according to him, he said he already told them, but they insisted on coming inside to wait for us, I told him not, I told him not to allow them in, so I ended the call, a few minutes later, he called me, he said Angel's mother is crying at the gate, that she's kneeling down, begging, I was like, uh-uh, why, so having that, you know that feeling now i decided to walk up to the gate myself because i don't want them to come inside i walked up to the gate um i met them there and um she was crying profusely begging me i don't know the pastor i saw one of them wearing native he said he's the pastor that has been calling me he was like you are jubilees right i said yes he said he's the pastor that has been calling me so he wants me to please plead with John to let Angel go. The reason why I'm always making this video is so that I'll be able to um, update you guys on the recent happening so you guys will not be in the dark. I don't know if John is, only, is even doing something about it. I don't know if he's keeping you guys updated on his Facebook or because I don't check. I just feel I should let you know. So along the process, I I called John. I, I shifted from where they were. I called John. I told him what was happening. I told him about um, Angel's parents and then um, her relatives coming to the gate to beg on her behalf, kneeling down, crying and all of that. So he's a human too now. He was feeling a bit um, emotional, but um, he kept saying the same thing. Angel is stubborn. Even if we release Angel now, she might do worse. She will do the same thing over and over again. And this is something we don't want. This is something we don't want. So after some time, I was able to console um, her mom. I told her to give us some days that we'll go to court. Since the matter has gotten to court, yeah? Since the matter has gotten to court, we'll go to court. Uh, they'll give them a restraining order not to come close to us again. Once we get the restraining order, we'll let Angel go. She will not serve any jail terms. That was the only condition I gave them that we we'll need to go to court and we'll make sure they get a restraining order against them. That's the only thing. She said with or without the restraining order that she would never come to us again and she would not even allow her daughter come close to us. That's what she said. She would not even allow her daughter come close to us again. That They've learned a lot of lessons. So the pastor started quoting Bible portions uh knock and you shall, shall be open forgive and you shall be forgiven <laughs> do you know how pastors behave now so i threw just one question at him i said sir may I looking at you you are a relative of this girl you've known her before now in fact you're part of the family and you told me the other time you called me that you've been seeing everything that happened online 
as a pastor, why didn't you call her to order when all this was going on? And if you did, why did she not listen to you? Why are you coming now to cry over spilled milk? Why are you coming now to give medicine after death? He could not answer me. After giving it a thought, I don't know what he was reminiscing in his mind. He said, children are disobedient in nature. I bluffed. I told him, no, sir. I don't disappear. I don't, I don't dis disobey my parents. <laughs> Even if I disobey my parents, it wouldn't be in cases like this. Like, Angel literally fought us right in front of her mom. She will waste weapon against us right in front of her mom. She will call us all sorts of names right in front of her mom. There was a time she insulted my mom and my sister told him I had to push her out of the gate. So there's no way you tell us children are disobedient in nature. If we are disobedient in nature, allow us face the repercussions of being disobedient. Yes, we need to be, we need to face the repercussion of being disobedient to our parents. Like, even in every country, we have recalcitrants, and when such acts are perpetrated, they face the harms of the law. So I don't know why you are coming up now to fight over someone who did not listen to you because you said you talked to her, you spoke with her, you talked to her about it, you told her to restrain from doing all the things she used to do to us. So if she didn't listen to you and she has fallen into the trap, into the arms of the law, allow the law to take its course. The young brother that feels he's always vibrant. Yeah, I'll do this, I'll do that. He could not say anything. He couldn't say anything. He was just there looking at us. Feeling remorseful. You get, I don't know. I know he's pretending. It's not even, I don't know. I know that boy, Junior. They call him Junior. I know he's pretending. He just wants to get Angel out of that place and maybe go ahead to execute his devilish plans, which I know cannot come close to me now. Nah. He is too small. But I believe that's what he's trying to do. Alright? Richie is still calling me again to beg. That we should forgive Angel. I don't know. I don't I just don't know, but it's not going to work. That's just the truth. I won't let it work. We and Richie, we are done. Like most times I keep asking myself, why are they coming to me? I am not I am not I am not the, the victim here. John is maybe I was part of the whole saga, the whole um, issue, and all of that, but I am not the primary um, victim here. I was just there when the whole shenanigans was going on, but I'm not the primary victim. So, I advise if they stop coming to me, safe because I don't have anything to say to them. Okay, so that's just it on what happened after everything. I told them to go that um, I'll talk to John, we'll go to court. They have refused to bring a lawyer for her. Thereby, they keep adjourning the case. And in Ademi, they worsen because the more they adjourn the case, the more she reprimanded. Right? Because we swore not to allow her come out of that place. We swore not to allow Angel come out from that place. All right? So, <sighs> the junior of the guy, of the guy was, he was just pleading and giving me some kind of wet looks and some more picking. We know they follow that one top. It's not worth it. Yeah. So I'll still keep you guys updated. Alright. Thank you and God bless all of us.